grasshopper, T300, wagon tracks, road ready, highway tight, running beads, donut, road bores, starts, stops, boring crew, slack line, splatter pads, Jeep, non-fusion, IP, pipe dope, weed burner, unemployment wagon, light boom, tractor, basket, bell hole, front end, fire line, choker, go in for 10, thumbs up, sag, over bend, legal pup, uphill, downhill, branch, low high, Arkansas bell hole, high low, road plate, pull head, button tip, crawler, bead rod, remote, heat box, third gear, fourth gear, maxine, band, shoulder to the holder, ratchet clamp, crotch, tech rig, one eight, five, three, slider, landing. What in the world do all these terms mean? Today we're going to have a little pipeline school lesson and let you in on all the definitions and meanings of all this lingo we use out on the right way. We will talk about some of the most used words and I made a reference sheet for you to keep handy as you learn. To get us started make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to see new videos like this one every Friday here on my channel. Some people aren't willing to share about this industry, but I am. I'm your in-between guy as you get started as a rig or pipeline welder. Basically, I'm the guy I needed when I got started. So what do all these words mean anyway? We'll just start with grasshopper. Grasshopper is just a grinding device that keeps the arc inside the bevel without arcing any other parts of the pipe. That's what a grasshopper is. I'll link a video or we'll put a suggested video up in one of these corners. Wagon tracks are what we call the little lines left after you start grinding the bead. There's two little lines. Pretty much it's uh, pretty much it's undercut. But I mean, there's little bitty black lines that look like a little bitty old covered wagon went up the pipe. I mean, that's what it looks like. Two tracks in the dirt there. They're just little black lines in the bevel after you grind the bead. Sometimes welders want a little bit of wagon tracks, no wagon tracks, things like that. Highway tight or road ready. That means like roll the truck up highway tight, like ready for the road, ready to go to the house. Um, like on tie-ins or, or anywhere throughout the day, you might have to to go somewhere else or go down the right away or go around to a different access road and you might just roll the truck up loose you know just leave the bucket and grinder and everything on the back you know because you're fixing to make another well but whenever you say highway tight that means we're fixing to go to the house it means you're fixing to get on the road you don't want nothing coming off the truck you want everything tight locked up how it's supposed to be for going down the road that's what highway tight or road ready means slag line non-fusion ip those are just a few terms that the unemployment wagon uses, the x-ray crew uses for uh, describing a repair. Like a slag line means there's, means there's a repair, means that's what they call it, slag line. Or a IP means incomplete penetration or something like that. So those are just x-ray terms. Running beads. What does that mean? Running beads. Running beads is just when, whenever we're laying pipe on the uh, front end, you got two guys normally, depending on the size of the pipe, you got one or two guys running beads. All that means is they're putting the first pass in. Laying pipe is like a assembly line. They, they do it to where it's very efficient. You got certain welders doing different passes. That way you're getting a lot done throughout the day, you know, and you're not all watered up together. It's a lot faster. But the guys running beads are the guys putting in the first pass. So you hear guys telling stories or talking about running beads. That's what they're talking about. They're talking about being on the front end with the pipe gang, putting the first pass in the pipe. The tack rig and those guys and all the crew, all the labor hands, walk up to the next joint, stab another joint. You got your next two guys come up, hot pass. After that, guy come up, two guys come up and put the third pass in, so on and so forth. Oh, this is a good one. Weed burner. Weed burner is also referred to as a torch. That is what we use, if you guys have seen some of my other videos, that's what we use to preheat the pipe. We call it a weed burner. Why? I don't know. I have no idea. But we use it to preheat the pipe. That's a weed burner. Bell hole, not to be confused with Arkansas bell hole. The bell hole is just a bigger, more laid back area in the ditch. A bell hole is just for guys to work down the ditch safely. A lot of your ditch is going to be more straight up and down depending on what kind of terrain it is. And whenever, like on tie-ins, whenever you're making a weld in the ditch, that's just so you have room to work down there and it's safer. A bell hole usually has two ramps, one on either side of the pipe, and that's, that's what it's for. It's just for safety more than anything. And so you have room to work. Not only for welders, but for anybody else that has to go down in that hole. You got your inspectors, you got the x-ray crew, they gotta shoot that weld, you gotta be able to get down there and get all the way around the pipe and be comfortable and safe doing it. And you got your laborers that blast the weld and coat the weld. And then, uh, yeah. So everybody 
has a part to do in that bell hole. So that's what a bell hole is for, to create a safe and easier workable environment. Arkansas bell hole is referred to as a weld on a 45 or 6G. That's a Arkansas bell hole. Why? I couldn't tell you. I'll have to ask my welding partner. I'll ask Andy. What is your favorite slang word that pipeliners or pipeline welders use? Drop it in the comments below or leave a word you want to know the definition to. The next word is tractor, not to be confused with like a farming tractor. Tractor is a slang term for side boom. This here is a side boom. They use these a lot on the pipeline. They're nice for tie-ins because they don't bleed off like tracos do. A lot of tracos are known to bleed off and when you're trying to make a tie-in, it's nice to have that side boom because they'll hang there in the same spot for four days if you want them to. Go in for 10. Go in for 10 means go to the house. And no, I don't mean your, your home home. I mean like hotel, camper, apartment, wherever you're living. It just means go in for the day. We're giving you 10 hours. Thumbs up means one of two things. Thumbs up means the weld's good. Like x-ray usually gives two thumbs up to the foreman or the welder or whoever needs to know the inspector. Like from a distance, it's kind of like sign language. From a distance, they just give them a thumbs up when they walk out of their little cab on the back of their truck. Thumbs up means the weld's good. Thumbs up also means go to the house or we're done for the day. We'll see you tomorrow. Sag, overbend, those are just terms used for the pipe. Like, uh, like I was talking about earlier, the process of laying a pipeline is like assembly line. Well, one of the processes is bending crew. Bending crew comes through after stringing to bend the pipe to match the terrain of the ground and where there needs to be a sag and an overbend where there needs to be an overbend. You might hear the term pup or legal pup when you're on fabrication or tie-ins. Pup is just a, another term for short piece of pipe. You got low high and high low. Low high is a type of welding rod as compared to cellulose. Low high is ran usually uphill compared to cellulose which is ran downhill. That's what we run out here is mostly downhill. High low is whenever the inside of two pieces of pipe is not exactly lined up like like this. That means you got high low. You don't want any high low on a weld. You want very little high low. So high low is is bad. Low high is welding rod. One eighth, five, and three. What in the world does that mean? One eighth is just a one eighth bead rod, usually, just the size of welding rod. Uh, whenever a welder says a five, I need a five, that means a 532 welding rod. Whenever they say I need a three, they don't mean 332, usually. They're talking about a 316th. So, one eighth, five, and three. I need a five or I need a three. Five is short for 532 welding rod, and three is short for 316th welding rod. Third gear, fourth gear, Maxine, those are terms used on a weld machine. Your old SA200s had different selections on your on your course current and slang term is gear. Like a common gear to run in is third gear and fourth gear. Why they call them gears, I don't know. That's just what we always call them. Third gear, fourth gear. And it's just a selection. So and Maxine is turned all the way up. I could go on and on. There's so many slang terms and different lingo we use out here. But I'll stop with that. But I've left a link in the description with a free download that has pages of terms and definitions. All you have to do is drop your name and email and I'll send it over as well as sign you up for my other helpful emails. The link is right below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell if you want more videos like this one. Like, share, and leave a nice or helpful comment below before you go. Get your download and learn something every day. I'll see you here next week. Thanks for watching.